Who doesn't like robots? From factories to living rooms, robots are reshaping how we live and work. I'm excited to have partnered with Texas Instruments to explore how their tech is helping build smarter, safer, and more compact humanoid robots like this one. Meet Apollo. This isn't just any robot. This is designed to work alongside humans, and this is where Texas Instruments comes in. So this is actually showing the perception of the robot. And you can see here, like that it shows each one of the humans here in our distances. And as you go within 1.5 meters, you, you turn red. If you're um, greater than 1.5 meters, then you go back, but that's the safety zone. And then it's leveraging this millimeter wave here, which is actually has our antenna on package. Uh, so it's a very small solution in addition to like our ca uh, the camera that's feeding into the AM62A. And then it's scalable to our processor. So let's say if you need higher performance, then you can go like to our 69A as an example, which you know has like you know uh, anywhere from four to eight cores, right? Uh, you know on there as well, and then more AI accelerators as well. If you need that more intensive power, what are the other devices that would be used for the motor control and things like that? Oh yes, yes. So actually, that's actually on this side here. So if we see here. Um, there's a few different areas. Depending on the types of robots, for example, let's say if you do like collaborative robots or humanoid, um, you'll see that there's multiple joints, right? In all these different joints, uh, there's more motors, all right? So like in a humanoid robot, you're gonna see maybe about anywhere from 30 to 50 motors within the system, all driven with its own MCU, its own current sensing, gate driver. And so you need small solutions, right? Like size optimized solutions to be able to do that. And so that's where we have like our new technology GAN comes into play here, uh, which has both the integrated GAN FETs plus the gate driver in a very, very small package. Is there anything for you, is there a personal aspect of all of this, of how this all fits together that like jumps out to you as the most like important aspect of this? Yeah, I, I think uh, a lot of it when it comes down to is as you see all this is connected together, um, the safety aspect is also one of the big things, right? But humanoid, like for example, can just be close to you and work side by side or as a tool assist you. How do you get to that? Um, you know, how do you make sure that it's safe, that nothing will happen, right? Uh, from a motor control perspective, and then also from like a visual sensing perspective. Robots like the Apollo are no longer science fiction. They're here now, and Texas Instruments is playing a role in making them safer, smarter, and more efficient.